The city of San Jose is being forced to admit it will not make a June deadline to clear the city's largest homeless encampment. No, it's not. The FAA ordered the city to clear that camp because of its interference with Mineta San Jose International. But as Len Ramirez reports, there's nowhere for people to go. This whole thing was just, we don't want people in the field. We don't care where they go. Sean Cartwright says it's no wonder San Jose's plan for clearing out the camps on Spring Street needed more time. There should have been housing for these people to go to. Last year, the Federal Aviation Administration ordered San Jose to clear the camps, which began occupying vacant lots under the flight path to Mineta San Jose International during the pandemic. San Jose has been trying to clear these camps in phases. In fact, phase one and phase two were cleared earlier this year, and the city installed these concrete barriers to try and stop people from reestablishing camps inside. And so far, at least this part of it seems to be working. If you drive down Spring Street, it's a tale of two halves. One side is clear, the other is filled with camps, cars, people, and piles of trash. It's the worst thing anybody could ever imagine. Kelly Goodman lives out of her minivan in the camp and is grateful San Jose is now asking the FAA for an extension of the order, which will mean a September deadline to move out instead of June. Yeah, it gives us more time, obviously, three more months. Does it give me peace of mind? No. So there's not enough beds, not enough housing, not enough tiny homes. A new emergency home community is being built nearby and it will help, but there's already evidence that people who clear the camp just move on to nearby city streets and parking lots. This has got path to control. There's beyond control. Business owner George Fota says he's been dealing with the problem for at least a decade. He's installed security systems because of constant thefts and is always on the lookout for fires, which happened again today. After 52 years in the auto repair business, he's calling it quits this week and retiring. They don't know what to do. Nobody knows what to do. Cartwright says it'll be that way until more housing is built. Until we build that at a rate that is just 10 times more than we've built it, we're going to keep having this situation. In San Jose, Len Ramirez, KPIX 5.